Okay, good morning. Welcome back to Clark's Golf Centre with myself, the average golfer. Joey the Tweet is here and also Barry Taylor, PGA professional. And it's uh, lesson three for the average golfer. So uh, hopefully um, you've watched the first two lessons. There was quite a bit that was, uh, well, still quite a bit that's going wrong. Hopefully Barry can rectify those things. We've got, we were working on my sort of um, where I started my downswing from, weren't we, in the first lesson? Yeah, the first lesson was getting a little bit more height, so then we could yeah. create a little bit of room, and then the second lesson was to get the sort of elbow move, shallow, shallow it out, out. And, and tucking that elbow in. So yeah. I've done a bit of practice, to be fair. Things yeah. have changed. I was struggling with one of the uh, one of the elements, which we've had a little brief chat about, and what yeah. we're going to have yeah. a look at today, really, isn't it? Yeah, we're going to sort of put the final piece in, if you like. So yeah. Hopefully, if everything's where I want it to be, so we, we'll we'll move on again and see the progression. So start off, hit a few balls. Let's hit a few shots. Yeah, see right. we'll, we'll film a few. We we'll get that other camera rolling, Joe, as well. So what I expect so far that we'd you know we'd see some improvement in impact. Yeah. But then today maybe we're going to push that a little bit further on as well. That's get that ball fly down and uh, yeah, get you a little see bit, a bit more inside. progression. Yep. Let's hope so. So I've got to say, what he said to Barry, that it's uh, played a few times over the weekend and uh, some, some much better stuff in there, some good ball strikes, which I'm happy with, some bad ones as well. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, I could certainly see when I got it right, I could see the difference, and, and even here, it was a much nicer. You know, in terms of using the sky track, we want to see the ball flight, the launch angle come down. If you can see that, it's yeah. the, that's the main sign at the minute that something's it's changing. Right, okay. Right, so a few uh, practice shots to get the morning going. Barry's had a little bit of a chance there to have a look at uh, where I'm at currently, and uh, we'll throw some averages up on uh, on what we've done there in terms of maybe the launch angle. I'll have a look at that in a minute, Joe. But we're going to have a look at now, take a look at where I was yep. to where I'm at. Yeah, we're going to have a look at impacts because obviously that's the, the current, that's what we're trying to change is the okay. impact. Also, it has changed a little bit. Yeah. And today we're going to push it even more. Okay. Right, so we're going to have a quick look now at uh, a clip from a few weeks back where this all started and uh, a clip from one of the shots of just it there, so yeah, so any improvements? Obviously the one on the right is from one of the first lessons we did, and if we look at the shaft angle, yep. zoom in a little bit, you see that's relatively level there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You know, there's not a lot of shaft lean, if you know. No virtually none, is there? No, that, and then that through, point. through the ball, club head overtakes very quickly, so that's where a lot of the height's coming from. Yes. And then now and again, a little bit of a, a pull hook would yeah. come in there. But yep. Put on the high flight, and then we zoom in on at the moment, which I want even more of this, but it's still be it's yes, a lot better. You can see it's started a little bit, hasn't it? Yeah, it's getting there. I'm not even really bothered about it, but we just worked on the backswing and yeah. it's got the transition. So It's good to see, though, because when you're hitting golf balls, obviously you don't know what that no, position got no idea. is. But, yep. you can't, but to see it there, even like the hand position, everything is uh, yep. changed. Just to impact again, the club is overtaking the hands yeah. a little bit. If we draw a line down your left arm. Sorry. Okay. We can see the club head is still overtaken. I want yeah. it holding really for a bit, a little bit longer than that, but okay. not as severe yeah. as that. No, you know, it's, it's that's, that's quite what, a big difference, isn't it? Mm, yeah, you got to, uh, to see. I say we're going to get more of that. Yeah, you know, we're going to get it really stable, really controllable. Right. Get the ball flight down, and they say improve your golf ultimately. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Right. Right then. So are we going to do that, Barry? Work okay. magic. Okay. All right. Again, that club had just arriving a little bit early. Right, okay. You know, so we, we've got to work on that. And we're working on that sort of in the second half of the downswing. So if, yes. you, if you make a backswing for me. Okay, come halfway down. Okay, so what we're trying to do is effectively close the club face a little bit. Yeah. And create a position that's going to create some shaft lean. Okay. Now, we're, not, we're going to do that by arching this lead wrist a little bit. Yeah. Into the downswing. Now, having a, you having a strong grip is actually going to make this easier. Okay. You know, people say, well, maybe your grip's a bit strong, but that yes. gives you loads of range of motion to go this way. Okay. If you've got a weak grip, you've got less range that okay. way. So it's going to make it relatively easy to Just achieve this. Around. And it doesn't need to be that severe. No. But the benefit of that, you know, if you this movement, you're going to close the club face, you're yeah. going to lean the shaft forwards effectively. I think obviously exaggerated. Yeah. And it's also going to help to keep it shallower, so it's going to keep the club in there okay. even, even longer. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Quite a change as well, isn't Can it? Can you feel that? Can you get a sense of what, yeah, what yeah. movement is? Yeah. I've got a couple of trainers we'll, we'll, we'll use to uh, give you that sensation. But Well, you can feel the club head squaring up quite a lot as well, yeah. like, can't you, too? Uh, and, what and you've like got to watch for lean. is what a lot of people do, you know, to, to close the club face, they just throw the right arm out so it ends up the cast and yeah. it actually makes it worse. The club face closes really rapidly. Right. Or what you've also got 
well, you could make the mistake of rolling it. Yeah. Again, with very, we would close the clump face. But it's got to turn it over. Yeah, it's going to be very rapidly like yeah. this. This is a more stable way of achieving that. Is that it's it or? Yeah, that's pretty good. Come do it again. And hold that shape now. Yeah. For longer. All oh, right, okay. So effectively, the release, which might, you know, people might describe that as a release, is yeah. after the ball's gone. Yeah, which does feel, again, when I just did that on the practice swing there, and it was it's quite a bit different, isn't it? Yeah, so if maybe give you an, a, an image of it, if you imagine as you're swinging down, you look, you look, the palm of your hand is going to look at your face. Yeah. That will give Still you that. Still holding that position. Yeah. Should we give it a go? Yeah, give it a go, yeah. That was probably better, was it? The ball flight was different. Yeah, more yeah. penetrating ball mm -hmm. flight, I think, wasn't it? Less floaty. So look at the video. Again, that, that was due to oh, oh well, I, I felt I was holding on to that position yeah. through the strike a bit longer. Again, one of the things you've got you know, when you're trying to create a shaft lean, if you well, if you go halfway back again or halfway down, you, know, you could create a shaft lean, but effectively keep the club face open. Yeah, that's not what we want. No, you still got to be closing. Yeah, you've got to square it up, and that's why if you think about this shape, you're yeah. going to create the shaft lean in this angle. But you're going to keep the club face square yeah, as well, so we're getting okay. the, the sort of two benefits. Not just leaning the shaft forward, but then the face only gets open, that's not yeah. good. Alright Okay. Just take a couple of videos so we can actually see what's happening through Yeah, yeah. Okay, exaggerate this one for me, really exaggerate it. Now what you've got to watch for is when, you know, in terms of custom fitting, say, if you, when you're, the more your left wrist arches, yeah. the more it actually dips downwards, so it affects you, the height of the grip. Right. So that might mean we'll that you change. need, yeah, you might need more right lies, but we'll see. Yeah. We'll check that. The more the wrist is in this shape, the more effective your hands are going to be. You're laying it out. have to be lower than I get you, yeah. Okay. So let's just have a little, uh, Check of your strike as well. Okay. I thought I had BO or something there. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit of dry shot for you if you feel lacking something else. That's so. no good for me, yeah. Let's uh, put, just spray your clubs though. So it's going to show us a strike, and it's going to maybe start to indicate the lie angle as well. So. Just go into Floral it. Floral and fruity, nice. <laughs> Sham, that, that's the only use I'll have for shampoo anyway. <laughs> yeah. I was in Chester yesterday and a, and, a, and a lad walked up to me and he gave me a flyer for a barber's. <laughs> I said, are you taking a mick or what? He died. Maybe it's a... It's yeah, a, yeah. A... I find one of the biggest things is, do you want me to show you now or do we... Yeah, let's have a little look. Let me, let me look at one. So again, you were saying about it, as you get a better impact position, your left wrist is going to be dipping, you know, into, as, it, as it flattens. Yeah. It also goes into what we call Ullman deviation, which is that shape. So the, the grip's going to be higher. Okay. And we look at the, 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 the strike position, the lie angle. Look at the lie angle there. So end of the clubs hit the ground more. Yeah. You know, it's not flush to the grooves, is it? Yeah. You know, that's changed. That was flush not long ago. Yeah. Yeah. So that's got, possibly got to change, have to change, is it? Yeah. So I need to get fitted for a new set of clubs. <coughs> yeah. Consistent. Slightly toy. Yeah. Slightly off. So that'd be one degree upright really again, maybe, would it? Uh, we'd have to do maybe do a bit more of an accurate yeah, so your assessment of that, yes, but you can yeah. see the toy in the club's okay. definitely on the ground. Okay, let's give you a... So you're doing it a little bit better there, but let's give you a, a train aid. Okay. It's going to help you to get the feeling of it. So this yeah. is called an impact snap. There's a sliding weight in it. Okay. Okay, so the, you go halfway back, the weight's at the bottom. Yes. And the goal is to snap it. Yes. I think I've used one like this before, remember? Okay. Yeah. Now, that, that, the noise isn't really the, the main thing. The main thing is where that ball goes. Right. So if you roll your hands over, yeah. the ball goes on the outside. Okay. If you flip your hands, the ball goes on the outside. Right. If you arch this wrist and do the right sort of movement, the ball goes to the inside. Oh, wow. So you can see that shape, obviously, that yeah, yeah. I've got. Again, you see this dip here. Again, that's the lie angle bit. Right. But this is the stability and the control right. we've got. So it's halfway back. It, that's a good release. Yeah, yeah. That's a bit of a wow. one. Give it a go. So we'll go halfway back. Let the weight load. Now release and just stop at impact. So snap to impact. Okay. So where's the ball? Yeah. You roll okay. that one. Snap impact. Okay, so not quite getting it. 
Soften that weight, yeah. So it's better just to soften the elbow a little bit. Yeah. But get that sense. So that's a nice exaggeration, that's good. Get it start to come down, start to feel what's going to happen in your wrist to create. I'm not doing it with this. Soften that right elbow a little bit. Okay, there. Wow. Do that again. Hold that, hold it. Again, if we imagine, if we imagine you put your club in, in there now, that yeah. position, that's a very different position to what you used yeah, to be. Yeah, yeah. So it used to be maybe more like yeah, this. Yeah, you know, yeah. People would be over there somewhere. Yeah. Want to try a few shots with that sensation? Yeah, yeah, let's try that. Swap you. No, I think what would be better maybe for you is to maybe do it just with your left hand, possibly. Just, just with left hand. Yeah, yeah now add your body turn into that as well. So try and do a, a more realistic. The, come through. So turn the body as well. Turn the body. Right. Yeah, set off it. You know, make sure you're doing the, the same motion. It's not just an independent. That is training your, your, your forearm to do the right thing, but yeah, you know, put, your, put your right hand back on now. Okay, come to impact. That's better. See if we can transfer that to a golf club. So now having the slightly stronger grip, it actually makes that easier. Yeah. It makes it, it makes it, you'd have to do less of that actually. Somebody with a weaker grip would have to do a lot of that motion. That's better body, won't it? That's nice. Lower flight. Yeah. I don't have to look up to uh, no. see it. <laughs> In the clouds. <laughs> What was the long channel on that one? 18, I'd say the, the goal's under under 20 for you, really, if you, if you take that. Well, you can see straight away from that shot alone, yeah. couldn't you? And that, I think that's a great thing about the lesson so far, is that if you see the progression and things happening that are supposed to be yeah. happening every now and again, they don't have to be every shot perfect, yeah. do they? But if you see that progression, yeah. an odd shot like that, you see that those, and I knew I got those things right or better. And sometimes you, know, you do the right thing, like when we were shallowing the shaft, you know, the ball going yeah, right is actually a good first, sign. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so it's like it's, it's, a, it's a negative in the short term, but it shows something changing. Yeah. So it's something's changing. Then we're going to do this and straighten it up. Yeah. No, it's very good. I'd like to be able to do that consistently. You know, what's the benefit of this? The benefit is that the club face isn't going to be rolling this way. Yeah. And it's not going to be doing this either. So it's, yeah. you're going to control loft and you're going to control the club face angle as well. Yeah. So you got you got that control to the ball. Yeah. If the club face is rotating, the accuracy is difficult. If the club face is doing this, it's also difficult to control yeah. the trajectory. I think um, one of the things said this year is if I am going to get better, it's, it's not. It's all about eliminating those really bad shots. Yeah. It's snap hook, which is the one that's like yeah. out of play for me in a card wreck, you know. Yeah. And even in the last few weeks with this, apart from when I, when I was looking to shallow the angle of attack, yeah. I was leaving the club face open, wasn't I? Which is, yeah. I was hitting a few out right, and then this change now. It's made a massive difference to straightening things up, and yeah. even the bad shots have been straight. Yeah. You know, so I don't mind. This is exactly. For me, it's all about just that real wayward one off the tee has been my bad thing. And in the short term, if the strike goes a little bit, that's inevitable, isn't it? Yeah. If you're working on your swing, you're going to yeah. miss it a couple of shots. That's that's part of the process. Yeah. But, no. But you know, ultimately, what we've done, we've, we've shallowed your angle of attack, we've opened everything up. Yeah. But then we've closed it down. Yeah. So you've got an opening and a closing. Right. So they might. They might it's going to piece together, isn't it? Like it pieces together, together to stage, give us that yeah. stable impact position. The, at the second um, practice with the aid, or the single hand practice with the aid, yeah. seems to have uh, registered in the brain a yeah, bit yeah, better a bit. in terms of that hand. I, I like to do it with the right, you know, if you think about the, you know, the left yeah, hand. The left sorry. hand, sorry, yeah. Yeah, if you get the left hand doing this, then the right hand's going to probably Just follow join with it, yeah. yeah. You yeah. Know, and it's a very more distinct sort of position you can it get. It was, so. yeah. Okay, I'm going to give you one more little uh, practice okay. thing, which is. It might hurt initially. Why don't you just quit there after three good shots? <laughs> no, let's, keep, let's keep going, let's keep going. This is, a, this is a training, a chipping training aid. Okay. Uh, let's put that on there, okay. So, if you flip or roll, you're going to hit yourself. Oh, right, okay. So you're going to really have to hold that for right, a yeah. massive exaggerator. So it's basically just not get hit by the... Yeah. Okay. So, as I say, if you roll, roll your wrist, it's going to hit you. If yeah. you flip your wrist, it's going to hit you. This so is going to make you do that for, for as long as we, for longer than we need, actually. But, and you're going to miss it a few. Yeah, yeah. But we'll start to get again, maybe another feeling that might register to keep uh, take it onto the golf course. This is purely. I, I, I've, I've still hit myself on every occasion here. Have you? Yeah, I think so. Okay. The impact snap. You want to get the. Get the body involved as well, you know, make sure your body's doing yeah. what it normally does, which is it's how you rotate and you rotate as well. So they're a lot better, yeah. Now although it feels horrible, yes, and you're hitting yourself, if you look Lean. at it, if you look at impacts. Yeah. 
it does change a lot. Yeah, yeah. It makes you really get to where we want yeah. to get to. Okay, so we're just going to stop off and have a quick look at uh, the impact that those training aids have had on, yeah. uh, on my impact position. And the one on the right is actually when you're using the, what well, I think it's called a chip chip shot or something. It's a little training aid, it's just an yeah. extendable part to your club. So this is where you just don't want it to touch your body really? Yeah, if you, if you roll it or flip it, you're going to hit yourself in the side. Yeah. So you obviously encourage yourself not to do that. So say if we take it to the one on the left, that in, that position just post impact. Yeah, it's huge different, isn't it? And look at that. Yeah. You know that angle. You extend your left arm down. Yeah. The club head's over top. But yeah. Extend your left arm down. And the I think that they, they were the uh, the two training aids were the boy the the thing that had an impact on me in terms of holding that position yeah. through the strike a bit longer as well. Definitely. You, you, again, you look at the left left wrist shape. It's it's changed. You know, it's yeah. you've got rid of this little. Uh, it's flattened out, hasn't it? That shape. Haven't yeah. You? Flattened out. Okay. Yeah, the arm's in a different position. The, the elbow, the left arm's changed yeah. position. You know, there's loads of little changes. The elbow's not as in this way. Yeah. You know, it's now much more stable. Yeah, yeah. Good. That's good. No, the training aids, again, they, they, they definitely work. It's a pity you can't take them on the course with you. Yeah, you need to do that. Uh, yeah, you have to do it with Adam. About, about a bit thousand balls, they'll be there with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Good. In your mind. Good stuff. Okay. Always. You know, obviously, you might not have one of these chip solid things, but you can, uh, you can use an alignment stick. Do the same sort of thing. Hold it, you know, maybe cut one in half and hold yeah. it against the against the club. So you can sort of give it an alignment stick against your club like that. Yeah. Again, oh, same right, thing. Okay, it's, yeah. And obviously, because it's, it's so long, it's definitely going to hit you. It's the like same it. for the same principle. Yeah. But if we got say Dustin Johnson, what's he going to do? He's going to get to about there. Yeah. You know, before this happens, so we're going to keep this yeah, stability. Yeah. lean. So you roll it, it's going to hit you in the side, and you flip it, it's going to hit you in the side. Good. Yeah, I like that. I've got some of them uh, alignment uh, sticks, so that's a good one to use. Isn't yeah, it? I said a, a full length one's a, a bit long, but you can still do it. It's yeah, just yeah. You're not going to be able to get full shots. Yeah, still, you it's still just again, it. it's just training that uh, kind of motion register in the brain. It's like for me, the whole like kind of um, th they're all new positions for me. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. all like if you remember, if we, if we go back to like the beginning, flat down here, wasn't I? Flat. Then then Steve released. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then released the club again, and, and now all of a sudden I'm up here or. I know that's obviously probably dropped it, but starting up here, lowering it, yeah. hand position way forward, they're just oh, yeah. Yeah. registering them in the brain. It's quite, it's quite a tough thing to do, isn't it? You know, and that's three things, isn't it? That's, that's a lot of stuff, isn't it? It is, yeah, but like I said, the positive for me is just the fact that when you get them right, when you start to see those differences, it's very encouraging, you know? You know, this is really is the final piece of improving you know, the impact. I mean, those, yeah. oh, those are going to have an effect and allow this to happen better. Yeah. And if yeah. It's going to allow it to happen at speed. Nice. If you'd have tried to just do this from here, you wouldn't have hit the ball very far. Yeah. You'd have had this stable position with no speed behind it. Yeah. That's no good, is it? You know, nah, you've missed cool. it too short. So. I think, like I said, from uh, the two, three weeks ago when we had the lesson about the uh, shell and the angle of attack, like I said, it just led me to leave the club face open a bit. Yeah. So at that point, but uh, Barry assured me yeah, that's what uh, will happen and the next piece of the jigsaw will make all the difference. And now to yeah. see that, it's really uh, encouraging. And, uh, yeah, and that's why we leave a little bit of time in between lessons so you can get, course, the, yeah, get, get the practice in, sort of get grained in. Grained. But it's, yeah. it's getting there and it's. Uh, a lot, lot better. So hopefully, all done for this week. Yeah, I think so. Maybe yeah. a little bit more. Oh, I'll have I'll a few more. It's a few more balls, but uh, effectively, uh, another bit to practice on. Back in the driving range and uh, see if we can get a um, bit more consistency. We've got my big comp is uh, yeah. April the twenty third yeah. or fourth, I think it is. Um, yeah. So there's other parts of the game, you know, maybe we have to have a look at something else as well, because uh, yeah. it's not just about the swing. Not the magic it? fix, no, but I mean, I think if we can get this bit, mm. uh, if, I, if I can get this bit sort of honed in a little bit by then, it'd be good to see. Yeah. Right, hope you enjoyed it, and um, we'll see you on uh, Thursday night for this week's Thursday Night Golf Show. Thanks as ever for watching. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you don't already. Thumbs up, give us a like, plenty of comments, and uh, if you're anywhere near, th near this neck of the woods, so Barry's based up in, uh, in Rainford, just outside of St. Helens, Clark's Golf Centre, uh, check him out and get some lessons booked with Barry. Um, other than that, we'll see you, like I say, Thursday night. Bye for now.